Hi trainers, so today we're going through the patch notes. So the Pokemon Unite Japan Twitter has posted it, but it's, you know, the translation can be a bit hard to understand because Google Translate not the best. But El Chico Eevee has posted the English translated ones here for us. Thank you to El Chico Eevee. I will link them down below. I also have more videos coming about the new Pokemon Unite patch that's coming out soon. So feel free to subscribe because the bell to be notified for that. Okay, let's jump into it. So starting off with the amount of AOS energy earned from battles has been adjusted. Instead of earning more energy by winning, you now earn more energy the better you perform in battle. Um, so what you're telling me is that I will never earn AOS energy because I always do but I'm kidding I'm kidding bad joke that's just pretty straightforward you now just earn based on your performance new achievement missions have been added in addition the difficulty of achievement missions for greed and absol and zero aura have been lowered new content has been added to the gallery you can now read the pokemon unite manga I actually have a video on that where I read it and the sound effects and stuff one of my favorite videos that my editor and I have made so I will link that down below too if you're interested the option has been added to battle without using Pokemon Boost emblems or their effects. This could be taken two ways. It either means that you can queue into other people who don't use these because you can just not battle with them. But I can't imagine that they would separate the queues because especially in Australia, the queue times for us are really bad and sometimes you get bot matches and it's just not great. Or it could just mean that you can just not use them quickly. I guess you could just unequip them, but I guess you can just turn it off and not use it. I don't know. Is that what it means? I'm not sure. And if it was a Q thing, I'd be surprised. <laughs> a feature allowing you to unlock additional custom loadouts has been added. It's really weird that it's a feature that allows you to unlock additional custom loadouts. And it's not just like something like that you have. I feel like you should have default five because there's five roles, but it's a feature that allows you to unlock additional custom loadouts. The effects gained when combining a certain amount of black Pokemon boost emblems have been adjusted. I think that's a nerf, <laughs> not gonna lie. I think what they're telling me here is that they nerfed black Pokemon boost emblems. You know, they were very strong on Pokemon that could utilize it very well. Pokemon boost emblems effect on attack, special attack and critical hit rate have been adjusted. So I feel like this is a nerf as well because for these stats specifically, which I think are very like, you know, probably the strongest stats in the Pokemon Boost Emblem stat page thing. I can't see why, I think these are just both nerfs to be honest, I think they've nerfed them. So I think that's what they mean by adjusted, but I have no idea. Unite move effects and their visuals have been improved. They've also been adjusted to include added effects that correlate to the user's role as described below. Oh, okay. So they changed the Unite moves. Speedster, for a short time after using a Unite move, the user acquires a weak shield effect and its movement speed is greatly increased. Oh, Defender, for a short time after using a Unite move, the user acquires a strong shield effect and its movement speed is slightly increased. For Attackers, the user requires a weak shield effect, its movement speed is slightly increased and either its attack speed is greatly increased or its move cooldowns are reduced. So for this one, I think it's physical based attackers and for this one, it is special based attackers. That's what I'm thinking it is. Um, for all rounders, for a short time, you get a weak shield effect. Your movement speed is slightly increased and either its attack speed is greatly increased or its move cooldowns are reduced. So this is completely the same as the attacker or rounder just has the same one as attackers. For supporters, the user acquires a weak shield effect, its movement speed is slightly increased and its move cooldowns are greatly reduced. I actually like this change. I think it's good to have them with like the uh, specific role, I guess, or like it says here that specific effects may vary per Pokemon. So maybe like, you know, for this one, uh, for one of them, like for the attackers where it says their attack speed is greatly increased, maybe they will have that on a special attacker that utilizes their basic attacks a lot or something like that. Instead of having more the, the cooldowns like greatly reduce or reduce generally but yeah i think i like this change i don't know i would love to hear your thoughts on this trainers because this is a very massive difference i will say the pokemon that stands out the most to me that really terrifies me when they use their unite move is machamp and machamp had a really fast movement speed when he united but now he only gets a slight movement speed increase and that makes me feel like safer in my games <laughs> So I just want to put that out there. We have all these changes here, the battle pass updates, ranked match updates, etc. Now we have the Pokemon changes. So I think this is different from the leaked one. So I think they've adjusted it and changed it. 
missed some mimes boosted attack, change to becomes a boosted attack whenever a set amount of time passes, dealing increased damage and throwing opposing Pokemon when it hits. Um, so I don't play Mr. Mime a lot and I haven't gone against Mr. Mime for a while because I think Mr. Mime just wasn't played that often, in, at least in the games that I played because since it's nerfed, I don't know. But I'm going to go by my, my memory of what I know, but for I would love to know if you're a Mr. Mime main or like you just like playing Mr. Mime, I would love to know your, the, what your thoughts are on these changes. So feel free to leave that in a comment down below. But I think with Mr. Mime's boosted attack, it was every third attack, and now it's whenever a set amount of time passes, which is very really interesting to me. Like, now it just happens when a set amount of time passes. It doesn't get triggered by, like, you doing something. Mr. Mime light screen changes to creates a wall of light in the designated area that prevents opposing Pokemon from passing. If an opposing Pokemon is in the location where the wall of light is created, they are shoved and left unable to act for a short time. Oh, so I think... I think here is that you get shoved and you're left unable to act for a short time. I think that at least that stands out to me because I don't remember that happening to me when he when he light screened. Okay. And it's where it's created or near the location where it's created. Mr. Mime Barrier changed to has a user throw up a sturdy wall in the designated location that prevents opposing Pokemon from passing. If an opposing Pokemon is in the location where the wall is created, they are shoved and left unable to act for a short time. Um, I, I, I think it's Barrier. I, I, I might get confused between the two because they're both wall abilities, but I think with Barrier you could hold two. It doesn't say you can hold two anymore. If it's So you can't hold two anymore, you just... You shove... It's like it's basically almost... The same as light screen, um, I guess. It literally is just the same, unless maybe it doesn't talk about like the effects as well of like the extra effects of it. I don't know. Uh, Mr. Mime Psychic releases to a telekinetic blast on opposing Pokemon that are near the user, near any guard swapped Pokemon, or near any light screen or barrier walls created by the user, damaging all opposing Pokemon hit by the blast and lowering their special defense for a short time. If an opposing Pokemon is hit by multiple overlapping blasts, that Pokemon is also left unable to act for a short time. So I think this is still very similar to Psychic that I know. But again, I just don't know the exact changes. Or like, Mr. Mime has a lot <laughs> supporters though, am I right? Mr. Mime Power Swap. I think this is Guard Swap. Change to creates a link between the user and the Pokemon this move hits. While the link holds, the user's movement speed increases and its HP is continually restored. If the Pokemon is an ally Pokemon, this move increases the movement speed of that Pokemon, increases the amount of damage it deals. I don't think I think this is very new. And continually restores its health. I think these two are new. This is a new thing. If the linked Pokemon is an opposing Pokemon, this move decreases that Pokemon's movement speed, decreases the amount of damage it deals, and deals damage over time to it. This is new, right? It doesn't have the swap defense, special defense, or whatever it was anymore, it looks like. If the user and the linked Pokemon are too far apart, the link will disappear. I think this is new. It increases the amount of damage your ally does and continually restores its health. I can think of a Pokemon that this would work well on and be very insanely scary on, okay? So think about everyone that Blissey does well with, like with all rounders. Think about this on like <laughs> my champ or like... Look, think about this on Machamp. It just run at you, deals more damage, and you can't kill it. Look about this on Tyranitar. Is this the buff that Garchomp needs? Is this the... Is is, is what Garchomp needs is Mr. Mime? I, I gotta test it now. What the heck? <laughs> Alright. So it looks like Mr. Mime just got pretty much like... I, I would say like a whole rework. It's a lot of changes. It's a whole lot of changes. I cautiously will say rework... It's a lot of changes. It, it feels like I've never, I don't think I've seen a Pokemon this changed before, but I don't know. Okay, so now we have Cramorant and it's dive and air slash cooldown lengthened. I think they did this because a lot of you guys probably, probably abused the black emblems way too much. And now they think Cramorant is OP, but they don't know what's about the black emblems. I'm kidding. <laughs> but I do think the black emblems with the cooldown thing on Cramorant is probably what, it, what did it for them. Dragonite Dragon Dance, cooldown lengthened. Dragonite Hyper Beam, damage that to opposing Pokemon decrease. So that is probably, they did that because Dragonite was too strong with those. <laughs> 
<laughs> wow, she's so smart. Okay, Serena Stomp. Damage dealt to opposing Pokemon decrease. Cooldown lengthen. Goodbye, Stomp. Blissey boosted attack. Fix bug that affected the following activation timing. Blissey soft boiled. The HP restoration has been decreased. Machamp submission. Cooldown reduced. Machamp dynamic punch. Damage dealt to opposing Pokemon decrease. Um. Espeon Psybeam cooldown reduce, Espeon Future Sight cooldown reduce, Espeon Sword Power move upgrade, Espeon Unite move Psychic Solar, Unite move charge rate increase. So Espeon to me, I just feel like they need to like, I want it to be good, I want it to do well, I want Espeon to like have its spot in the meta for a bit, because Espeon has been, I don't know, I find Espeon like, since it's released not to be super strong, so I would, I would love to see Espeon like, you know, scare me a little bit sometimes, I just don't feel very scared of Espeon at the moment. Glaceon Icy Wind, damage dealt to opposing Pokemon increase, Glaceon Icicle Spear, duration of effects on the user decrease, and bug fixes, um, Wiggly Tough Double Slap, cooldown reduce, damage dealt to opposing Pokemon increase, okay, oh no, Wiggly Tough's gonna hit me twice more. <laughs> No. <laughs> uh, Buzzwell Leech Life, cooldown reduced. I think that move is so fun, so I would like to use this more. Damage dealt to opposing Pokemon increase. Buzzwell Smackdown, damage dealt to opposing Pokemon increase. Range increase, effects on the user strengthened. Darulodon Dragon Tail, cooldown lengthened. Delphox Flame Charge, cooldown reduced. I actually really like Delphox's Flame Charge, so I really want to try this again. Tyranitar Dark Pulse, damage dealt to opposing Pokemon decrease, Tyranitar Ancient Power, Shield Effects weakened, this move's movement speed increase has been weakened as well, and Tyranitar's Unite move, Tyrannical Rampage, move downgrade. So they actually nerfed Tyranitar, they're not buffing Tyranitar, Tyranitar is actually just going to get straight up nerfed. Um, Crustle Stealth Rock, fix bugs causing extra effects to occur. Lucario's Power Up Punch, fix bugs that affect the following maximum range. Leftovers, effects strengthened. Assault Verse, effects strengthened. Rocky Helmet, effects strengthened. Floatstone, effects strengthened. Oh my gosh, they're making more changes to items. Let's go. This makes me happy because I like item changes. I also, I haven't done this for a while, but I do like testing things. And because they don't do many item changes, there's just not really much to test on. But this means I have four items that I can test on. Yes, let's go. I did really big tests on some of the items. I don't know if you trainers remember, if you were here, but I did huge tests on weakness policy. I did tests on razor claw. I did tests on... I figured out how these items worked back then. And it was a long time. It took me like two days of no sleep. To figure out how to work how to, how to make these items work properly so i am excited for this 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 kind of this this gives me i don't know this this i'm very happy with this yes no more more no sleep okay so that is all for this video i cannot wait to see the changes exactly for these items i will do some testing but i feel like unite db might be faster than me or the math code might be faster than me because i'm just one person maybe they are one person too i don't know i actually don't know how they do all their work but they do a lot of really good work so yeah that is all for this video thank you for watching let me know in the comments down below what you think about these changes i will have more videos about the next patch and stuff maybe in the upcoming days maybe today i'm not too sure yet um i'm feeling very tired but i will try to stay awake and try to do as much as i can thank you for watching i'll catch you up the next one bye and feel free to subscribe to the bell to be notified for this okay bye <laughs>